What is going on guys and girls? We're back once again with another logo redesign video. The first one we did was Twitch. We did it a while ago. It's been a little bit of time. So today we're doing the Firefox logo. Um, and I really want to do the Firefox logo because I, I like the general idea of the Firefox logo to start off with. Um, so I thought it'd be a cool idea just to, you know, maybe do this one for today. So I start off with just a basic head, of course, the basic, uh, you know, ears and whatnot. And I, uh, I, I wanted like the, the two tone kind of ears for the, like inside of his ear part, but I do mind him getting rid of that later on just to simplify it a little bit. Um, and then with the, with his nose, I just felt like it needed to be a bit bigger and I was just going too much. The, the thing that I wanted to keep in mind was simplism because it is a logo. Um, so I wanted everything to be very simplistic, kind of minimalistic, uh, as most logo designs are nowadays. So I really wanted to just kind of like uh, go with the basic shape with a, just a basic color because from far away, you won't be able to see all of the detail that I'm putting into it anyway. So I decided just to go with a very, very simple fox head. Um, no, no other colors, no anything else. And later on, we add a gradient, which looks really nice. But, um, but yeah, just basic, just super basic shapes, colors. That's what you want to keep in mind, um, when you're creating a logo and in, in my opinion, anyway. So I go ahead and make a body here and I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to have it be a full circle all the way around, or if I wanted his head to peek out a little bit, I wind up making it just a circle and his head does not peek out. But, um, but yeah, so go ahead and do these these little curves these curves that I have here which it took me a little bit of time to get the way that I wanted them but you just work for it a little bit and uh, you can get it eventually like I said because a lot of these lines uh, a lot of these lines were looking like they weren't gonna line up you know what I mean because it wasn't a perfect circle that I had cut um, that I had cut out so it was kind of like becoming a weird off kiltered kind of like uh, abnormal looking sphere and I, I do I do wind up fixing it once uh, the logo is complete but I was I was struggling with it for a little bit trying to get it to be exactly the shape that I wanted it to be and I couldn't decide as you see here I have it all the way connected and I actually kind of like the way this looks now that I'm looking back at it but I had it all the way connected together and I, I didn't like it at the time but I kind of like that actually I might I might do something else that's all the way connected around like that um, but yeah so I'm just changing the colors of the uh, the waves what I was kind of going for was um, was I was kind of going for like waves like water looking kind of thing but it also looks like a tail at the same time that's basically what the Firefox logo has always been anyway I just kind of wanted to do it in my own style it's I kept it so similar I just really kind of wanted to redesign it a very simple redesign this time I'm um, just trying to get more with the um Little tail pieces. I I really couldn't decide if I wanted to have like a a piece coming off of the tail there as well, um, but I decided against it, of course. And let's go. We start with the gradient. And what I did here was I selected all the orange pieces, and then I kind of hit unison up at the top there, um, and then I just joined them all together. Of course, after I duplicated that the entire piece, just in case I wanted to change something uh, separately later on, and then I made that nice gradient from orange to like that nice pink color. And then I do the same with the gradient for these, but I wind up actually getting rid of the gradient for the waves because I don't like the way it looks like it just started blending some of the pieces together and I wanted them all to be very separate. So I go back to the solid colors for those because I just really, really, really did not like the gradient. It was kind of just blending them all together. As you can see, I'm trying to have a, I'm having a difficult time trying to make them look all separate instead of like in the middle or the end tips or wherever it starts to kind of blend together. And I did not like that at all. So. I struggled with that for a little bit until I decided that it just looked best with the flat graphic with the uh, solid colored waves and the gradient for the fox itself. Um, but yeah, this is a super simple one. I really enjoyed this one. Like I said, struggle with a couple of the pieces here and there. But like I said, with any art, uh, art is just about doing it and, you know, getting your hands in there. You can't really like, it's not like a formula, you know what I mean? So like, you, you might, I might have had an idea of what I wanted to do, but just fiddling with it until you get it the way that you want it is really the only way to do it. Um, it's the most natural way, and it's just the way that comes across, uh, the way that comes across the easiest in most cases, instead of just, you know, completely plotting out every single thing, and just getting in there and just getting some things down and getting them on paper is always the best way to do it, especially with vector art, because you don't usually have a sketch. Sometimes you might have a sketch, of course, um, if you're doing some specific graphics for a company or whatever else, but... Um, you don't really have sketches if you're just like, you know, doing it yourself unless you made sketches. But like I said, I don't like doing sketches for logos or for intros or for whatever else because I like just getting in there and just going off of my brain because that's the best way that I work. Um, and with this, like I said, 
it, it just looks really natural to me. It looks very like I came up with this on the spot to me, you know what I mean? It feels really nice. Uh, and I really did like this this design. I did want to do the gradients. I did. I really did want to do the gradients for the wave, but I just could not get it the way that I wanted it. So I decided against it. But I think what I ended up on was it's very nice, and I enjoy that quite a bit. So this is basically it. I don't do too much um, else with it up to this, up to this point. I, I did try to create this little piece on the tip here um, that kind of made it like pointy and all together, but I did eventually wind up getting rid of it. Um, as you can see there, yeah, that's, I was trying to have some kind of, like, end of the tail, you know what I mean? Um, to kind of make it look more like a tail instead of, like, actual waves, because, you know, tail doesn't just end. But I just didn't wind up liking it. I thought I was going to, but I wound up just not liking it, so I decided against it once again. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically everything that I have for you. Just, like I said, just stick with it, don't, don't give up, um, because you can't get the way you want it. Uh, I, there's a couple places, places in this, um... In this art that I was like I don't like the way this looks at all but I kept going with it until I did enjoy it and I really really enjoy this one very simple very easy um, but yeah I'm gonna stop talking now let you guys uh, look at the rest of this little tiny bit of this uh, speed art kind of commentary video and I will uh, see you guys in the next tutorial I will see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye